Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Laravel from scratch. In the last video, we made it so that we could create a post from our front end here. And uh, we also implemented uh, an editor. So now what I want to do is make it so that we can edit and delete posts. So we want to, from the show page, which is the individual post, we want to have an edit and delete button. Now later on when we add authentication, we're going to have that as well as a dashboard where we can, we can uh, create posts, or I'm sorry, edit and delete posts. So let's go to our show view, show.blade.php, and I'm going to go under, let's see where do I want to put this. Um, let's go under the small here and we'll put another HR and then we'll put a link. Okay, and this is just going to go, uh, this is going to go to the edit view. So let's say href equals slash posts slash and then the ID so we can just go like that post ID and then slash edit we'll give this a class of BTN and BTN default okay and that's gonna say edit so we'll save now, if we reload, we have an edit button and that goes to post slash the ID and then edit. So let's go to our controller and go to the edit function. And we want to bring in that that post, which we can do using find just like we did in the show view. And then we just want to load up the edit view. So it'll be post dot edit. OK, we're going to pass along the post as well. So let's go to our views and then posts and we'll create a new file called edit.blade.php. Okay, and we're going to copy what's in the create template because it's basically the same thing. We just need that form and we'll change the heading to edit post and the action is now going to go to post controller update. Okay. Now we also want to include the ID. So to do that, we're going to make this an array. So we're going to put brackets there and there, and then we're going to put a comma and say uh, post ID. OK, so it knows which which one it's updating. Now, if we submit this as is, it's going to make a post request to update. And if we look at our routes, let's clear this out and then we'll do PHP artisan route list. And if we look at the update, which is uh, right here, we're making if we well, it's going to post slash and then the ID. So if we if if we do a post request to that, it's going to. Um, actually, is that where? Yeah, it's going to go update or post slash ID. So right here is what we want, and that has to be either a put or a patch request. All right, there actually isn't a route to make a post request to this right here. So what we need to do, let's close this up. We can't change this to put. We can't do something like that. You can either do get or post. But what Laravel allows us to do is spoof a put request. And we can do that by simply adding a hidden input right up right down here. We'll say form hidden. And all we have to do is pass in underscore method. And then for the second parameter, we're going to put the type of request we want to make, which will be a put request. OK, that way it'll it'll do what we need it to do. So let's save. Uh, actually, one more thing, we need to add the values. So right here for the title, instead of being blank, we want it to be post title. And then right here should be post body. So now if we go back and click edit, it takes us to the form and it's pre filled with our values. Now if we submit, it's going to go to the update function, which is blank. So if we go to our post controller, we want to go to this update. So I'm going to copy what we have in the store, which is this here, we want the validation and all this stuff. And then we'll paste that in update. And all we really need to change is this right here because we're not creating a new post. What we're doing is 
we're going to find a post. So we're going to say find and then just pass in ID. All right. And then the rest can be the same. Let's just change the message to post updated. All right. So let's go back and let's reload this and let's just remove the bold here and then save that. So post updated. Now, if we go to post four, the bold is gone. All right. So we can now update posts. Now for delete. We can't just simply add a link to delete. It's going to be we need to make a post request and then also spoof it with a delete like we did with the put. So that has to go on a form. So let's go to our show method, our show, uh, our show view and go right under where we put the edit. And we want to put a form here. All right. So let's do form. Actually, that needs to be. like that. So form open. And in here we're going to pass in an array. And we're going to say action. And we're going to set that to uh let's see. We're going to set that to an array actually. And then in here, whoops. In here we're going to say post controller at destroy. Sorry about that ding and guys. And then we also want to pass the ID so it knows which one to delete. So post ID. All right. And then we also want the method. So after the array, after the bracket here, we'll put a comma and we're going to say method. Disguise it as a post, even though it's going to be a delete. And then let's also add a class. Oops. Okay, so class and let's give it a class of BTN and then BTN. Oh, no, we don't want to do that here. We want to do pull right. The BTN will go on the submit button. Uh, yeah, because we want to pull it to the right. We want to float it to the right of the edit. All right, and then we just want to end it. So form close. And then inside the form, we're going to have two things. We're going to have the hidden spoofing method and we're going to have the submit. All right, so let's do form hidden. Okay, and then that's going to take in underscore method. And we want this to actually be a delete request. Okay, and then we'll do the submit. So submit is going to be it's going to say delete and then we'll pass in an array of parameters. So we just want to put a class. Class will be BTN. BTN dash danger. All right, let's just let's see what that looks like. Uh, what's this parsing error? Expecting closing bracket. OK, what did I do? Oh. Right here should be another bracket. There we go. So now we have our delete button and that's getting submitted to the destroy function. So let's go down to destroy. And what we want to do here is find the post by its ID that's being passed in. And then we can simply do post delete. And then we'll just redirect back to posts. We'll say post removed. OK, let's try that. Reload and delete and now post removed. So we have full CRUD functionality now. The next thing we're going to do in the next video is we're going to add authentication so that we can register and log in. We can create our own posts and then we'll move on to access control so we can only we can only manage our own posts. All right. So we'll get into that next.